Geometry Nodes was introduced to Blender around 3.8, and since then, it has turned heads of every artist using other applications like 3ds Max and Maya, which has prompted 3ds Max and Maya to add their own node system to stay competitive in this ever-changing environment. We are going to look at how powerful and versatile Blender Geometry Nodes has gotten. Starting off, explore the complex node setup that allowed Cartesian Caramel to make this amazing Venom transformation. Marvel at this exceptional demonstration of the power of Geometry Nodes. And dive into the projects that you can download for free, links are in the description. It's not only Geometry Nodes that is getting better, the quality of add-ons from the Blender community has jumped up as well. Take a look at this one-click realism humanify add-on. The Blendify team brings the power and detail of Dark 3D into Blender. The humanify add-on lets you create hyper-realistic human models with exceptional detail and extreme realism in one click. If you are a user of Dark 3D, you are going to love this because you can import the 3D models in Blender and use Humanify shaders on them seamlessly. Going back to Geometry Nodes, take a look at this satisfying Spider-Man inspired animation. The character can swing from one building to another, swinging on webs that have rope-like physics animation. The character also has ragdoll physics, all done in Geometry Nodes with procedural animation, something that would have been impossible to do just a year ago, before the addition of the simulation zone. Now, let's just hope they add a follow-up zone to this, and finally, we can give Houdini a run for his money. If you are still in doubt the power and usability of Geometry Nodes, here are a few use cases. When making his anime short, Bad Chain opted to use Geometry Nodes instead of using the particle system for its procedural nature and directability. In this setup, you can just draw on objects using curves and rain splashes will be added simulating heavy rain effects without any advanced heavy calculations happening. If you're thinking this is possible with the particle system, you are wrong. Since Blender 2.5, reactor particles, which would have made this possible with the particle system, were are removed. It's only possible using geometry nodes. And that's the beauty of geometry nodes. It can be a simple solution to a difficult problem or a complex solution for a complex problem, like making procedural steps. This procedural tool lets you extrude steps and platforms out of simple mesh faces. What's more amazing about this is that the materials, textures are all set up on the fly, lining up everything and breaking up any repetition that may arise. You would think sterilized art being one of the most difficult art style to master would be harder to make procedurally. Here, Andra shows us with a simple draw of, of a curve, you can generate procedural sterilized roots that look detailed with grass, mushrooms, and sterilized textures. If you want to learn geometry nodes, they have a free tutorial on their channel that you can take a look at, showing you how to make this sterilized root generator. Software should be a tool to help you achieve your vision. Every time you open up an application like Blender, it shouldn't take you hours and hours of trial and error to achieve what you want. If you want to design clothes for your characters, it should be as easy as the smart cloth generator makes it. It simplifies a process that used to be difficult into an easy one, allowing you to add details like stitches, seams, buttons, and more with a few clicks. Geometry Nodes has also breathed new life into add-ons, powering add-ons like this damage generator that you can use to add multiple layers of damage to your object with a great level of realism. Today, creative art is not just about creating the final art piece, but also about creating reusable and recyclable assets that you can share with other artists. If you want to learn how to create customizable models, Vertex Arcade has a whole video showing you how to do it, and also has a collection of adjustable mannequins for artists who want to create models but don't want to start from scratch. These mannequins can be sculpted, edited, or transformed into your own designs. You can change the head style, shoulders, neck, arms, breasts, torsos, and more to turn it into what you want. Another demonstration of the power of geometry nodes comes from a procedure generator by 3D Tutor. With this generator, you can create stone and rock geometry with just a few sliders. This can be used to make medieval bridges, footpaths, and more. 
While Geometry Nodes is very powerful, it's not the most powerful tool in Blender. That hat goes to the Blender Python API or BPY, which gives you access to almost every function, tool, panel, button, and operator in Blender. This also gives you access to Geometry Nodes via the Python API, hence making add-on like Terrain Mixer possible. With this add-on, you can make any type of terrain and add as much detail as you want from snow caps, rock formation, vegetation, rivers, craters, and more. You can make complex models and shapes by using simple modeling tricks. If you do this with the UV, you won't have to worry about how complex the UV unwrapping process is going to be. The UV can set up automatic UVs, relax UVs, has a trim sheet system, and a little features that let you simplify UV unwrapping. Here are more amazing geometry nodes demos from the community. Ever wonder how you could do a paint fluid simulation using geometry nodes? Btoons was able to do exactly that in real time with a controller that you can use to spray paint everywhere. Blender has a soft body solver but it's too slow and gives you no control over the simulation. Here, Zero Froys makes a better soft body solver that also supports cloth simulation inside geometry nodes and works in real time and you can easily control your objects. Around Blender 2.8, the Blender game engine was killed off, but that has not stopped artists from using Blender as a game engine. Zero Froys creates and plays a game of Tetris in Blender's viewport powered by geometry nodes. He also created a playable Minesweeper game inside geometry nodes as well. If that does not excite you enough, how about millions of particles simulated with, with collisions and particle velocity inside geometry nodes by Cartesian Caramel? If you're doing a presentation, consider trying this infographs generator that comes with different templates to visualize data in different formats. Thank you for watching. All links to these projects are going to be in the description. See you in the next video.